Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to review and test out this laser distance meter, and this is by this brand here. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but maybe uh, Mile C is how you pronounce that. Um, here is what the packaging looks like. Um, this does use a class two laser, um, so you wanna make sure that you're careful with it and you know don't point it into your eyes or into anybody else's eyes or anything like that. Um, here is some information on this side of the box. It's within two millimeters accuracy. Um, it does area volume measurement. It can add and subtract uh, 20 sets of historical data, and it comes with two AAA batteries, which is nice because I have purchased tools before that didn't come with the batteries, and I didn't have them, and that's always, um, you know, uh, a bummer when you want to use it. So, okay, so here is the laser distance meter. Um, and then inside here, we have um, a strap for it, like a wrist strap, that's cool. We got our two AAA batteries. Um, this is like a, a, a pass card from the inspector who uh, you know, verified that this was working correctly and the date that it was uh, inspected. Um, and then we have the owner's manual here. Um, and let's take a look. Okay, so they do have uh, English in here. This is the um, quick start guide. Um, it has all the information in here, so make sure that you read through all of this. Um, this is gonna tell you everything you need to know on how to use the laser distance meter, uh, both safely and properly. And whenever you're working with tools, make sure that you're always wearing the proper safety equipment. For this demonstration, I have on a pair of nitrile gloves and safety goggles. And make sure that you take all safety precautions. Okay, so um, let's get these batteries um, out of the plastic here. Give me a second, I'll be right back. I need to open this up and then we'll install the batteries in the laser distance meter. Okay, so before we install the batteries, let's install this wrist strap here. And you just take this part of the wrist strap, and if we feed it through here like that, and then put this part of the wrist strap through, um, and then that latches on like so, and now we have the wrist strap. Uh, okay, so now let's install the two AAA batteries, and I'll take the battery door off the back of the laser distance meter, um, and then if we look inside here, it tells you the directions that the two AAA batteries go. Um, so we'll take the first one here, and on this side, the negative side uh, goes down here, and the positive side up here. And then I'll just seat that into place like so. And then with this battery, the positive side goes down here with the negative side up here. And I'll just seat that one into place like so. Make sure they're both seated into place. And then I'll put the battery door back on here. And now um, our laser distance meter is ready to be used. So let's go through some of the functions and features first, and then we will test it out. Okay, so we have two levels here. We have one here and we have one here. Um, and then this is our display screen and this is the measure button. Um, this one here is the menu button. This one in the middle here is the memory button. And then this button here is the measuring reference unit button. And then we have our add button and our subtract button. Um, and it looks like these also work. Uh, this one here will turn the volume off. Um, yeah, it says uh, short press to subtract values and long press to deactivate the beep. Um, that's what it says in the quick start guide. Um, and then we have our on off button right down here. And then uh, this was the battery compartment. So all of that information is in the quick start guide. I just wanted to review it. Um, so let's go ahead and turn this on and see what happens here. Okay, so before we test this out, I wanna show you a couple things here. Uh, so if we hit the menu button right here, um, it will take you into the menu and you can see the icon that's flashing right here. Um, that icon is for the area measurement. And then this uh, icon that is flashing now is for volume measurement. Um, and then this icon here is for the uh, Pythagoras um, two point uh, measurement. 
And then this icon here is for the Pythagoras three-point measurement. Um, and it talks about all of these in the quick start guide for reference, but just so you know how to change between them. Uh, when we test these out, we're just going to test, um, we're going to use the area measurement. So the next button that I wanna show you is this button here, and this is an important one because if you short press this, it's changing uh, this icon up here and it's letting us know whether it's going to measure from uh, the back of the laser distance meter um, or from the front of the laser distance meter. And you can see that the icon changes there as we short press this button. Now, if you hold down this button, um, it'll change the unit of measurement. So right here we have feet, Right here we have inches. Right here we have feet and inches. And then right here we have meters. So let's go back to foot and inches because we are going to um, you know, make a measurement here and then test it with a tape measure just to see how accurate it is. So um, the next thing we are going to do is we have two different things we can do with the measure button here. If we just press the measure button, um, just the, the quick press, it will just take a measurement. So it's saying from the front of this unit uh, to the wall that I just measured is one foot and seven inches. Now, if you hold down the measurement button, it's continuous measurement. So as we move this, it will change the measurement. So let's hit clear here and I am going to, let's put the meter right here. Okay, so let's hit the measure button and I wanna show you this. Um, it puts that red laser dot up on the wall there. Um, so I said this earlier, but I'll say it again. Make sure that you don't point that at anybody or yourself. Um, you don't want that laser dot on you or in your eyes or on somebody else or in their eyes. It is dangerous. So, okay, so let's hit the measure button here. Um, and the measurement from the front of the um, laser distance meter is one foot, six inches, and one sixteenth. So now let's measure um, that against the tape measure here. And I'm at like one foot, five inches, and fifteen sixteenths. So I got about an eighth of an inch of discrepancy there. Um, let's try from... Uh, the back of the meter here. Let's make a measurement. Uh, we're at one foot, 10 inches and nine sixteenths. So let's measure from the wall there. And I'm at one foot, 10 inches and seven sixteenths. So another eighth of an inch of discrepancy. It does say in the owner's manual um, that depending on a variety of things could affect the accuracy of the meter, um, including if the surface that you're measuring against is rough or too reflective. So I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to use my Toyota Corolla owner's manual. Um, you know, I was measuring against the, just the um, unfinished drywall here before. So let me measure against the Toyota Corolla owner's manual and let's see if that makes any difference. So I'm going to take the measurement here. Let's actually, let's clear all this out and let's do, um, let's measure from the front of the unit. So I'm going to hit measure here. So I got one foot, four inches and three sixteenths. So let's measure from the Toyota Corolla, Toyota Corolla owner's manual to the front of the unit there. And we can see that we're at one, one foot, four inches and three sixteenths. So, I mean, this is spot on. Um, so that is something to keep in mind that when you're, um, you know, using the laser distance meter, uh, depending on the conditions and what you're measuring against, um, it could affect the accuracy of what you're measuring. All right, guys, well, that is it for this video. And what did you think? I think this is a pretty cool tool, in my opinion. Um, you know, definitely something to have in the toolbox and would work great for really long distances. Um, it does say in the quick start guide that it can measure up to 120 meters. Um, so that's a pretty good distance. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. 
Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.